Hello everybody! In this lesson, you will be learning to define proportion, determine whether each pair of ratios forms a proportion, solve for the, for the missing term in each proportion, and solve related problems on proportion. So first, what is a ratio? In mathematics, a ratio indicates how many times one number contains another. For example, if there are 8 oranges and 6 lemons in a bowl of fruit, then the ratio of oranges to lemons is 8 to 6. That is 8 to 6, 8 is to 6, which is equivalent to the ratio of 4 is to 3. Equal quotients correspond to equal ratios. So this is 8 oranges. So these are 8 oranges and 6 lemons. So the ratio of oranges to lemons is 8 is to 6. 8 is to 6 lemons. So that's what ratio is. So what is proportion? A proportion are two ratios that are equal to each other. For example, 8, eight is to 6 is equal to 24 is to 18. How do you know if two ratios are proportion? You just multiply the means and extremes. These are the means and these are the extremes. So 24 times 6. 6. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 2 is 12. So the product of the means is 144. And if the product of the means the extremes are equal to each other, they are a proportion. So 18 times 8. So the product of the means and the extremes are equal. So they are a proportion. So remember that the ratio of or just the lemons is 8 to 6. But what if there are 32 oranges? How many lemons would be there? We have 32 oranges to end. And denotes the number of the missing lemons. We need to multiply the means and the extremes. So since this is an easy, 8 times n is 8n. It is equal to the product of the means. So 6 times 2 is 12. 1, 2. 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. 8n is equal to 192. Next is divide both sides by 8. So press this out. Next we need to press this out and put it here. So n is equal to is equal to 192 divided by 8. So 
So therefore, n is equal to 30 volts. So for 32 oranges, we need 24 lemons. So the ratio 8 is to 6 is equal to 32 is to 24. That is ratio and proportion. I hope you learned something from me. Goodbye. Thank you. See you next time.